In this video, I'll be disassembling a VM68. Most of my shots are cut so that you don't have to watch me unthread each screw. So we'll start with the back screw on the VM68. We pull that out, we can take out the upper tube plug and the spring. And now I'm using a flathead to remove the side lower tube screws. These are normally Allen screws, but someone replaced these with flathead screws. I could also slide off the sight rail. Once I have my back plug removed, I can remove my hammer caulking screw. Once I have that removed, then I can slide out my bolt and hammer. But before I do that, I'm going to take the grip off. This is an Ambi grip. This is not the stock grip that came on a VM68. They typically came with Lone Star grips. Looking at the screw to check the threads that goes into the block, we can measure it out at 28 threads per inch. Now I'm going to remove the Allen screws on my grip block piece that connects the Lone Star grip to the block or to the trigger guard group and it connects the trigger group to the body of the VM68. Now I'm removing the two screws in the side of the feed block. Again, someone replaces these with non-factory screws, but they are typically Allen screws. I just wipe away some of the gunk from the side of the body. And then I can unscrew the two valve screws. Again, with these, they're typically Allen, but these are someone put flathead on them. But you'll just want to remove both of those. Next, I'll remove the hammer and the bolt which were free to be removed after the lower plug was taken out, but I just didn't unscrew them. You can see this hammer has a non-stock O-ring on it. Not sure if that worked or not. So now I have my valve tool. Stick it down the lower tube, thread it into the valve, and then I can just pull the valve out. Now we have the valve out, unthread my valve tool, look at my exhaust valve and my actual valve. It's just a stock valve with four different diameter holes. We can see that this VM had an older style cup seal on it and the total length on it was 1.35 inches. And there's my valve spring and now we are completely disassembled. Thank you.